Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Masonic Curators. My name is Greg Nod. I'm the senior warden here at Homer Lodge number 199 in Homer, Illinois. Today I want to share with you a, a few artifacts that we recently acquired for our museum. But before I start, let me wish you a, a happy new year and hope that you had a, a great holiday season. One thing about the holidays is it brings people together and they share many fine meals together. And really that's no different than the fraternity itself. Tonight, as I shoot this, uh, Admiration Chapter number 282, which meets here in Homer, is getting ready to have our second annual St. John's Day celebration. And that's an opportunity for brethren to come together, bring their families, sit around the dining table together, and we're gonna, we've got a Masonic speaker, Todd E. Creason, and we're going to get a bit of education, and I think equally important, a bit of fellowship with each other. You know, one thing around the, the lodges today is some of the festive boards and things have uh, dwindled over the years, but I, I think there's a resurgence of them coming back. And so what I want to show you uh, in, those, uh, in that spirit is some of the artifacts that we uh, gained uh, recently here in the museum. These are a set of china, and you can see the label there from Seidel Lodge number 798. Seidel Lodge was located about 15 miles from Homer and, and closed oh, more than 20 years ago. The Seidel Historical Society was downsizing part of their collection and so they gave us the Masonic artifacts. What's neat is the amount of china, the customized china, that the Seidel Lodge had. This was a platter that again has the Seidel logo on it. A teacup and a and a, uh, a saucer. Always got to have coffee in the lodge. A set of small bowls, and of course the dinner plates, all of which do have that Seidel Lodge logo on them. And of course, there was even a couple forks. We've heard of that fork and knife degree. Well, there's a reason for that. But uh, I'll just show you these at this time of year to you know, encourage you in 2018 for your lodge to, to come together. Uh, again, I think it's a great opportunity for the fraternity to have fellowship together. And when I visit another lodge, even if I don't know anybody in that lodge, the opportunity to sit down at the dinner table makes the connections instantly in conversation. And I have instantly new brothers and new friends. So. If you've got some of that china tucked away in your lodge building, dig it out. I know most of us still use paper plates and things out of convenience, and that's certainly understandable in today's day and age, but have a special dinner, have a table lodge. But more importantly, come together and share the fellowship of Freemasonry. It's one of the most important things we do. So that's all from Homer Lodge today. I hope to see you in another episode of the Masonic Curators. Again, I wish you a happy new year for 2018, and I'll see you on down the road. <laughs>